The trial for the so-called doomsday mom, her husband, fictional author, accused of murder, that continued today. Chad Daybell is his name. He's married to convicted murderer Lori Vallow. He's now on trial for similar charges, killing Vallow's two children who used to live here in the Valley. Fox 10 investigator Justin Lum with newly revealed evidence that was really interesting in court. We had not seen this before. John Christina, today alone we heard from four witnesses in law enforcement. They testify not just about the discovery of J.J. and Tylee, but the reaction from Daybell. And they also covered the investigation into the death of his first wife, Tammy Daybell. And to do that, you have to focus on the alleged co-conspirators. So it got technical. An FBI tactical specialist testified showing how many different phone numbers were used by Chad Daybell and his co-defendant, Lori Vallow. The witness also identified different numbers used by Vallow's late brother, Alex Cox, who prosecutors say is a co-conspirator in these three murders. And new footage from a Rexburg police car showed the moments Daybell was detained as authorities worked in his backyard in June of 2020. This is footage showing Daybell speaking to his daughter, who gets emotional as he tells her he won't be coming back. She's learned that authorities have found human remains in the backyard during this time, and Daybell gives her instructions on his finances and bills and tells her to get in touch with Lori Vallow, who was already in jail at the time. I have an account that I've been talking with Lori on. Okay. But you could use this card. To add money. Yeah. And to her if needed. Okay. So, yeah, she'll need to still have commissary money. Usually puts 30 a week in there. So, and you can probably talk to her too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just to give you perspective, for the next two days, authorities would be going through this backyard, ultimately finding the remains of seven-year-old JJ and 16-year-old Tylee. For the full video of this conversation, just head to our Fox 10 Phoenix YouTube channel. We'll have that live stream of the trial continuing tomorrow at 7.30 our time. I'll pre be providing live analysis as well. Live in the control room, I'm Justin Lum for Fox 10 Investigates.